the stress signals are far too common these days. Our recovery crews can hardly keep up with them. This one, however, I want you to look into personally. Rahul brought it to my attention. He tells me the transmission has been exposed to darkness. Our enemy worms its way into everything it touches, even muddying our signals. What's more is the port of origin, near the reef, from a guardian claiming to be aboard a ship belonging to the dethroned Emperor Callus. Kaito will no doubt respond to a signal from one of her father's ships. They have a complicated relationship. If there's a guardian on board, exposed to darkness, I want to know why. Extract them safely, so we may have a word with them. Several months ago, a Cabal vessel bearing the name Glycon disappeared near the reef. This ship matches its description and heading. So far, our hails have gone unanswered, and the distress signal continues to loop. You're clear for live fire engagements. Board it, and find our missing guardian. There's a distortion in the feed, no frequencies. Like ripples meeting in conversation. Executing trace. Stand by. I've sourced a distortion. There's an open patch into the ship's computer. Perhaps courtesy of our lost friend. The Glycon navigation system marks their destination as an anomaly. Left in the wake of Mars's disappearance. Guardian, you're not the only life sign aboard. I see at least one other. It may be our missing friend. It may not. I found a journal of Callus's scribe, Armsat. Translation as follows. Today, Callus graced the Glycon with his presence and gazed upon the anomaly. His counselors prepare the exhibition chamber with gold from the Castellum. They are confident the crown is ready. The end will lay eyes upon him and weep at his magnificence. This ship's passageways no longer connect as they should. Guardian, I've pieced together another of Armsart's records. It reads, Tragedy of silence. He tore the wilting failures apart himself. The connection is strong, but the darkness does not speak through them. An ocean without wind. Even the light bearer could not coax it to awaken. Hangar systems are intact. Why didn't they try to run? So, Guardian, go be you, the stray variable. Armsad kept notes on experiments as well. It seems that Scorn, exposed to the anomaly, all suffered contiguous neuron death. It consumed their minds. All but one who spoke with many dead voices. This survivor would become the centerpiece of their studies. But paradise is a prison when you cannot leave. Put this decrepit creature to rest. Guardian, this anomaly left in Mars's wake. I've seen it and others like it. Too many scorn for an active Guardian. In place of each world the darkness stole. 
at the edge of our heliopause. Callus meant to commune with the darkness. Faint traces of light. That thing was a guardian. We're too late. Far too late. Take the rifle. It was offered, was it not? Better in your hands than left for another. I'll speak to Savala about authorizing exploratory outings. If we can recover our lost friend's ghost, we may learn more of how he died. Return to the city. We must assess our findings. Greetings.